Demetria! Winter, die! Fucking die! Melt! 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 Suck my fucking dick! Lambda. We are going to take a look at Greta. Now, I did not want to see this. I saw the trailer and I was like, you can't be serious. This is so stupid. This is so silly. What, this old woman is, you know, a psychopath. I, I love Chloe Grace Moretz, but I'm like, okay, how are we gonna do this? There are moments in the movie that I will recommend. But there are quite a few things that are ear grating, that are annoying. So why don't we start with those? You have Chloe Grace Moretz, who's the generic nice girl, who always happens to have this preppy girlfriend who is a little bit quirky. And so she ends up forming this relationship with this older woman, which kind of happens out of nowhere. It's like, okay, she finds the purse for her and then blah, blah, blah. And for some reason they think that it isn't out of nowhere because of the relationship with her mother and that her mother is not there but honestly did anybody catch kind of a romantic kind of edge towards both of them i don't know there were moments where the way they looked at each other the way the actresses performed that and said those lines i'm like okay there's probably something more to this like is are they trying to hide that the chloe grace moretz character is she gay or when that happens it just comes out of nowhere. It's like, why are they forming such a close relationship that this girl is going to spend her leisurely nights with this older person rather than going to like a club with people her age? It's very difficult to understand. So this is quite a lot like room I got into, especially like the last half or so. But before sort of that element happens, there's a lot of, when they end the relationship and this older woman, Greta, stalks her. I'm very mixed about it. And for the most part, a lot of these chase scenes, they hold up. However, before that element of the movie happens, there is a lot of these suspenseful chase scenes where it's sort of this ominous sort of atmosphere that you're given. Problem is, and I don't say this too often, and I watch a lot of horror movies, this character, the, the Moretz character, is a fucking moron. This is one of those movies where you're going to want to stand up in front of the theater and go, are you fucking insane. Because, okay, for one thing, what sort of cuts her off is, this is in the trailer, she's gonna get the candles while she's in Greta's house, and she opens the wrong drawer, and then she discovers all of these purses with all of these girls' names are on it. It's the exact same purse. It's the same purse she found on the bus. And so she's horrified and to Moretz's credit she plays that beautifully upon discovering when they're sitting down so that that's fine so then she sort of ends the relationship there and then there's a scene where Greta is stalking her and she's sort of just staring at her for hours while Moretz is on her ship okay but to her credit she does call the police but why in the holy mother of fucking hell does she not say you know what I just discovered that there are dozens of persons that she's scattering all around the city and they all have girls names people who are my age you want to explain to me why I shouldn't be worried about this woman I mean she can stare all she wants but don't you think that's a little bit of a problem and then God, there is this moment that for the most part plays very well as a sort of suspenseful scene. It's where Greta is stalking the friend and she's taking pictures of where the girlfriend is and she's sending it to Chloe Grace Moretz. And that is, you know, really gets your heart going. And when they're sort of talking like, she's right behind you. She just took, she sent another picture of me behind you and she can't see her and all that sort of stuff. When that scene finally goes over and they sort of get safe, they don't go to the police. They don't go, here are some photos of stalking my friend that she sent from her phone. And it, it's just so frustrating. It is just unbelievable the amount of idiocy that any rational person is going to have. It's like this stalker is sending you literal evidence of them stalking you or your friend. I'm like, are you insane? Send the pictures. Fuck! However, besides that 
I will say the acting done between the two leads is surprisingly good. I have not seen Chloe Grace Moretz in a lot of recent movies. I think the last one I saw her was in the Carrie remake, but I've always been a fan of her work and she does good here. Isabel Hubbard definitely nails the sophistication. She also nails the frailty of being this older woman and also nails this psychotic edge. I saw her in a movie called Elle, which is like a French movie and she's very good in that. And when you see her in that, you definitely see why she nailed this part. It's not an overplayed performance as I thought it was going to be like super over the top and sort of every look is just like, oh, evil, <laughs> you know, but it's surprisingly played in a subtle, you know, well done way. The only part that really kind of went a little silly for me, I'll, I'll, I won't spoil it. It basically involves her dancing. I was like, okay, this is a little goofy, come on. The best thing going for this film is something involved with a dream, and that was incredible incredibly clever. That kept you right on the edge of your seat exactly what you would go into a movie like this for. That was so smart and I loved that. And I think the last half, which goes into sort of a room-esque quality, it is handled very well and it's very suspenseful. And But the only thing is that this is kind of a little bit of spoiler, but you can kind of guess where it's going. When she, you know, she's finally captured, she doesn't restrain her at first. And I I get it if the captor was like a really built, you know, taller guy, but this is like a 65 year old woman. I'm like, okay, how can this, you know, 20 year old girl not stand up to this older lady? And she lets her hold the kitchen cutlery and whatever, the knives. I'm like, okay, something is up here. I don't understand it. And I find at the end, the way it sort of resol is resolved, <laughs> I'm kind of like, okay, I think they're playing like a a little bit of a get out sort of thing, the way get out sort of ended it. I'm like, okay, but you can kind of buy it because you're so sort of elated when that sort of thing happens. There are many scenes like that where the character will, will hurt Greta and will like get her to the floor, but she doesn't fully hit her down. I'm like, don't you understand how this movie works? character. You can't just leave her and get her out of your peripheral vision. That's just not how these movies function. Scenes like that where there just makes no sense whatsoever, like even by movie standards, even by like horror movie standards, I'm like, are you a fucking moron. But yeah, most of it is pretty suspenseful and it does keep your attention and there's a lot of clever stuff. It's acted well. I think the score is very nice. It looks nice. So I, I, I liked it. Honestly, I would check it out, but you're going to be face palming a lot or you're just going to be pulling your hair out a lot. It, I think it's worth it. I'm, I'm glad I saw it. Honestly, it was a million times better than it had any right to be like at all. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed. Who are we and who are you? And I'll see you next time.